Many racers have competed. Many racers have fallen, but eight still remain. Hey everybody, welcome to the ultimate finals of the mail-in tournament. Here's the first group of the top eight. There will be EP videos, Chase, Killa, and Dusty. And out of those four, one of them is still undefeated. That being Killa Kowalski. That being said, none of these other three are slouches either. 51 EP videos at 3.25 ounces. Killa Kowalski, 3.19 ounces. Number six, Chase Family, 2.7 ounces. And number 22, Dusty Miles, 3.84 ounces. These four are beasts on the track. None of them are slouches, so this ought to be a great competition. But only two of them will move on to the final round of this tournament. Who it will, who will it be? Let's find out right now. At the start of this first race, they're all relatively neck and neck. As we get into the lane merger though, Chase Family did have a slight lead, but they lost so much speed out of nowhere. And they quickly went from first to fourth. And Killa Kowalski is now in first place after this final turn. EP is trying to catch him and is unable to. And Killa keeps the undefeated streak alive. I don't know what happened to Chase Family. But that is not the results they would have wanted. I am sure of it. Killa Kowalski does take a bit of a tumble there. But they are still in first. Still never losing a race. And they have three more in this group to keep that alive. Chase was dethroned as an undefeated racer before, and I'm sure they'd love to do that to Killa Kowalski now. But in order to do that, they cannot have moments where they lose so much speed like that. Into the second race though, they're all once again relatively close together. But it looks like Killa Kowalski once again has that lead and Chase is falling behind again. Killa Kowalski seems to have slingshotted themselves a little bit forward. And it looks like they will get the second win. Will they be able to? Yes! Pilo Kowalski is still undefeated, and this time, Chase finished in second. That is a much needed improvement. We'll have to see how this affects the scores in a moment here. Despite Killa Kowalski's undefeated streak so far, they still haven't grabbed the fastest time, which is held by our other undefeated racer, Blue Line Racing, at 13.99. Killa just needs one more race, one more win, to move on to the final round. And they do take a slight lead at the beginning, and as the lane split, does he still have the lead? It looks like he does, but Chase is coming up fast, followed slow, not so slowly actually, very quickly by Dusty, and Killa is still holding on to that streak. They're getting close to the last turn, and Killa Kowalski has a big enough lead that even if he slows down a little bit, he will grab that third win. Killa Kowalski will be in the final round. And they finish with a 14.9. That is slightly better. But still not quite the fastest time. So far, people have been struggling to break that 14 second mark. And I think only one person has been able to do so. Here we go. The final race. Two racers will have their journey end here, and two will move on to the last part of the video. Right now, Killa Kowalski will already be there. But when it comes to the other racers, I think they might all be tied, actually, because they've all finished in second, third, and fourth at least once. I think they all have six points right now, based on that scoreboard up there. So whoever finishes in front of the other two will be moving on, and it looks like It'll be Chase Family, and not only that, but Chase Family at the last moment has dethroned Killa Kowalski as an undefeated racer. Kowalski almost had it, but Chase denied it. He figured, if I can't be undefeated, you can't either. But Chase Family got that win, allowing him to move on with Killa, and now there's only one undefeated racer left. But in this next group is number 16, Flip, 3.5 ounces. Number 29, Blue Line Racing, 3.98 ounces, still undefeated. Number 11, 
Numskull, 3.98 ounces. And number 27, Cape Fear Racing at 3.3. Some of these racers have been undefeated before, such as Cape Fear, but Blue Line Racing is the only one who has not lost a race yet. That could change in this group like a different killer, but we will have to see. So far, they do have that lead, but Flip is very close behind. Sometimes this stretch is what makes all the difference, as they somehow will be able to gain a lot of speed, and it looks like that's the case for Blue Line. We get into the last turn, and no one is anywhere near them as they approach the finish line, and they get another win, finishing with a 14.87. Even Blue Line has been struggling to break that 14 second mark again but they still have the title of the fastest time. And I think Flip was the one who finished in second there, yep. Flip in second, Numskull in third, and Cape Fear in fourth. Cape Fear was undefeated at one point, but that is not the case anymore. Beginning off the second race, Blue Line does have a slight lead, but all four are staying relatively close together here. As they get into the lane split though, Blue Line is suddenly taking off, and Flip is trying to catch him as well as Numskull. But as they get into that lane merger again, they start falling behind once more as Blue Line is approaching that last stretch. And it looks like they might have spun out a little bit, but going sideways and now backwards, and it looks like no one is undefeated anymore. Blue Line was all set to get that win. But then they spun around, lost speed, flips all the opportunity, and no one will be coming out of this tournament completely undefeated. Everyone's undefeated streak is done. So the only title Blue Line has to their name now is the fastest time. They might still be able to be the ultimate champion though at the end, but they will not be able to say they did it with an undefeated streak. The ultimate hat trick would be to have the fastest time, never lose a race and be the ultimate champion, which I believe happened in our last tournament. But in this one, Blue Line will not be undefeated, but they might still be able to get the championship and the fastest time, and they did win this time, allowing them to get the lead back in points. Meanwhile, Flip finished in second. It's looking very good for him. As for Numskull and Cape Fear though, they've been going back and forth, but for third and fourth place, it's gonna be very difficult for them to catch back up at this point. Because Blue Line has 13, Flip has 11, Numskull has five, and Cape Fear has four. So I don't think it's possible for Numskull or Cape Fear to move on, but the fact that they got to the ultimate finals is absolutely incredible. Meanwhile, Blue Line Racing is going into that last turn. And no one is anywhere near them, but they did lose some speed before, so I wouldn't have been surprised if that happened now. And they actually got so close to breaking the 14 second mark, only off by about two tenths of a second. But they will be moving on. Numskull did finish in second. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. It will not, as Blue Line and Flip are now in the final round, which will start right here, right now, not wasting any time. Three of these racers out of the four had gone into the grand finals undefeated. But now all three of them have been dethroned. So now the question remains, who will be? The ultimate champion. Right now, Blue Line Racing has the lead, but Killer Kowalski is no slouch, trying to stay on his tail. But there goes Blue Line Racing. Oh, look at that. I thought Killer Kowalski was further back, but I guess not. And now Blue Line is kind of shaking up a little bit, and Killer Kowalski is trying to find an opening, but cannot get it as Blue Line finishes in first for the first race of the final round. It's definitely looking good for Blue Line. But Killer Kowalski is not too far back. Any one of these racers could come out of nowhere and be the ultimate champion. One of your ultimate champion is somewhere on this screen right now. And so far that's leaning in favor to Blue Line. 
As we begin the second race, Blue Line does have a slight lead, but all four are remaining relatively close. Blue Line is trying to extend their lead as much as they can. As they get into the lane merger, it looks like that will happen. As the gap keeps widening here, and they get into that next stretch, the other three racers are staying relatively close together, but Blue Line is the one who has the lead. They do spin around again, and that cost them their streak before, but not this time. They do finish in first once again. If Blue Line can finish one more time in first place, they will be the ultimate champion. Unfortunately for Flip, however, they somehow flipped over, staying true to their name, and they did not finish at all. Pretty much keeping their chances of winning the ultimate championship out of reach. In the third race now, Blue Line just needs one more win here, and they will automatically be crowned the champion. If they can finish in front of the other three, that will happen. As long as they can stay fast and straight, that will be the case, but that could change at any moment. These racers are good, so we'll see if they can keep that streak alive. I'm at a loss for words right now because of what's happening, and they do spin out. Killer Kowalski tries to catch him and can't, and Blue Line Racing will be your ultimate champion of the mail-in tournament. At this point, this next race will just be a victory lap for them. Your Chase family has five, Flip has four, and Killer Kowalski, I believe, has nine. Oh no, they have eight. For some reason, I thought they finished in second all three times, but no, that is not the case here. So now it's just a race to decide who will finish in what position behind Blue Line Racing. Who will get the silver medal, who will get third, and who will get fourth? So far, Blue Line Racing is looking to keep the sweep, at least in the finals, alive. And they will at least take that streak home with them. And Blue Line Racing almost got the fastest time yet again. Got even closer there. But ladies and gentlemen, we have our champion. It will be... Blue Line Racing. Killer Kowalski in second. Flip in third and Chase in fourth. Fantastic racing by everybody. So congratulations to Blue Line Racing. Your grand prize will be sent your way very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next tournament with Mario Kart Mail-Ins. Thanks for watching.